Welcome back to Outer Worlds with the Rude Man, and we're back in camp. And I went over uh, to the uh, workbench here and broke down a lot of stuff and got rid of some of the stuff. But there's a there's a merchant, that friend of Zoe's, and I'm wondering if he buys things from you. I know he sells stuff. Let's see if he buys stuff too, though. Zoe says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. Yeah, you already know she's an idiot. That's not true. What are you selling? Fresh off the limb. And that includes canid meat. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Uh, your mer merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. Okay, good to know. This is what he's got for sale. Well, I don't see anything here I can live with. Uh, I can't live without except for you know, this uh, beanie. <laughs> that seems pretty cool. Um... Fun Times Barrel, Silver Tongue Kit. I think I've already got the Fun Time Barrel. Uh, let's see if he sells stuff. Or if we can sell stuff to him, I'm sorry. Now, here's the interesting. I like this button right here. It sells all your junk automatically, so you don't have to go through everything. So we sold all of our junk, and uh, we can sell other things. But I don't know if I if I want to sell any of my guns or anything at as just yet because I want to find out what the vicar can use so and armor I don't have any armor left I broke it all down um, I think that's all I need for now so let's get out of here and I found a new gun so I want to look at it it's this one right here it's a bolter pistol now the pistol I'm using is a hundred uh, this bolter pistol is 120 and I think I might have figured out what the red means but I'm not entirely sure Be the reason I'm thinking that um, see that right there that I don't know what you'd call that but it looks like a, a bang a spark you know like a like a weapon going off it's spark or and uh, maybe a spark plug in a car that causes an explosion of gasoline makes your car go. Okay, what if that is energy? This happens to be an energy pistol, and that is a plasma cutter, which also takes energy. I'm thinking the red is for energy, but I don't know for sure. Let's try that. It's a little better than what I was using. This wasn't 100 DPS. Now, I do have a pristine one, but it's only 102. But it's worth more. Well, I'm going to hang on to it anyway. All right. Um, yeah, let's put that away. Right, so uh, weapons and armor degrade with use. Sure, I know that. Let's look at our item repair. Huh? Keeping your company gear in tip-top shape. Workbench repairing items. Returns it to 100% durability and full effectiveness. Ready to cause and prevent. I thought I did that when I was at the workbench, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I just broke stuff down. Okay. Let's uh, repair things then. If that's what it needs. Let's repair that. And we'll repair that. And repair that. Okay, is everything up to snuff? How about our armor? Let's re oh, the armor's getting shot. Let's fix that. We'll fix that. And fix that. How come the weapons didn't go away after I repaired them? Damage 14 damage. Yeah, well, everything's okay. Okay. Now, let's go to the uh, journal again. And let's see, we've got die robot that it causes. We need to go down in the uh, plant for that, I guess. The frightened engineer. We've got one book that we gave him, didn't we? Uh, Parvati mentioned her father reading a volume of engineering, and then there was another one. Uh, didn't they say there was one in the cannery? So one volume set low community center and that another used to be in the town of Edgewater. Okay, well we'll take a look at that. Uh stranger in a strange land. 
divert power. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's um, let's go back into town. See if we can find a second book for this guy. And then it doesn't really say where the third one's at. It just says that her dad was reading one. Well, what if he's reading the one that is in the cannery? That didn't give us any clue. All right, we're going to head down this way. And then down here. What the hell? There's a lot of weird noises. There's the community center, but we've already got the one that was in it. Where do we have to go next? Landing site. Can we fast travel? Oh, we can. Does it cost us anything? I'd never tried that before. There's the cantina. There's the barber shop. There's the plant over there. Another day at the cannery. Foggy in town. Something got you down? Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, I remember, I pretty much checked this place out, except for the upstairs. I didn't look in the upstairs much. We looted a whole bunch of stuff down below, though. Okay, nothing here. Go around the other side. Yeah, I didn't come up here. Oh, there's a... I didn't know there was a ladder there. Huh. Oh, there's... St oh, that's stealing, isn't it? I don't know if I'm going to steal from this place. Now, that's not it. That's just a terminal. Uh, I don't know. Here it is. I was looking for a book. It's a damn computer. It's a huge e-book is what it is. Hey, Phyllis. All right, let's get out of here. wonder if there's any, anything in the vending machine I can't live without. Where do we find those vending machines? Here they are. I got plenty of weapons. It's the armor I'm not getting much of. I think... Can we compare? Elite troop armor. How much does that cost? 500? We got plenty. That's 9 armor. That's 17 armor. I'm going to buy that. And I think I've already got a pretty decent helmet. That's a 10. Let's... Let's see. What are we wearing for a helmet? We got a 17, which is already better than what they got. And this is a 4, so let's put this on. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm ready to rock and roll now. Sweet. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. Let's look at the region. What is this now? Objectives. That's fast travel. That's a, let's let's uh, fast travel to the community center and head that way. We had two markers there. What do we have two markers? Oh, 
that idiot wants us to find the brain of a robot, a module. Okay. That must be the plant. Let's go check it out. I'm anxious to try my new gun. See what it's like. Looks like we got to cross the river to Grandma's house. Oh, we've been down here before. We got a thousand points just for discovering this place. Like it hasn't been discovered already. Holy smokes. It burned it to a crispy critter. Ooh, I like that. I don't like those snaky things. Oh, there's people in there guarding the place. I've always wanted to poke around in here. Uh-oh. How do we get in here? How are the marauders getting in here? They're not very smart. Oh, jeez. Who's getting her? Oh. Where'd Parvati go? I'm sorry, Parvati. I had no idea that there was a way in here. Man, I french fried this guy. I wonder if she'll take uh, armor from me. If I should even trade with her. Okay, she's got that which gives her tech skills. But it's only light armor. This is riot control. Gives her stealth. And that gives her tech skills. It's better than what she's wearing. Tech skills. Do I need to have her with more tech skills? Four and three. Let's give her our old armor. And then she's already got a pretty decent helmet on. Okay. Now, I did get a guy out here we french fried this feller all right come on Parvati let's check this place out Spacer's Choice Guard. Cigarette Lighter. Standard Troop Armor. Okay. Let's see if we can hack this thing. Spacer's Choice Property. Power Plant Security Terminal. Disarm Security Fences. Uh, view Recent Logs. Security Logs Inaccessible. In keeping with Space... Uh, Spacer Choice Company policy, all security logs have been terminated in the event of a major emergency, catastrophic event, or security breach. Attention! Scheduled security updates at this Spacer's Choice facility are critically overdue. Your last scheduled security update occurred on air, date not found. If you're a member of the Spacer's Choice security detail assigned to this location, please turn in your identification for immediate reprimand. Failure to do so may result in an immediate reprimand. I guess I don't need that gun hanging out. Okay. Let's check these lockers.
We probably still have more bad guys. There's a flywheel. These guys are loaded with stuff. A vending machine? Hey, we got a vending machine. Scientist is down. Alright, well, I want to look around before I go in there. Just to see what I can see. Looking good, girl. Nice outfit you got there. Something sounds like it's running. Oh, that's a vending machine. Did I see that one? I guess I did. All right, let's go in, I guess. I'm just postponing it. Man, that guy's got a big head. Another vending machine. Um, that must... Was, which door did we come in? I think we came in that door. How do we get... How do we get inside? Through here? The control room should be off to the right. Okay, thank you. I don't know if we are or not. Do you got something to say? Something you need? Yeah, you know what? We haven't talked to her. You know, I noticed you mentioned your dad a lot, but never your mother. That's on account of how I never met her. You mean she's dead? That's kind of brutal. How's that possible? She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. That's kind of cruel. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Well, don't shortchange yourself. Come on. Thomas seems to like you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. Oh, so, like a pet. He's head over heels. I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean, when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. No worries. I planned on it. You mentioned something earlier you wanted to ask me about, though. You mean about the mission being too clean? Yeah. It's supposed to be clean. It's a church. I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one that ain't never been run. It's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. Got a little passion there, do you? Yeah, but you're a mechanic. Whenever you see a machine, it's needing fixed. Fixing the universe is a job for somebody way better than the likes of me. <laughs> Don't sell yourself short. Uh, in the bar, you asked me if I was a drinker. What the heck's that all about? Kind of personal, isn't it? Sorry. I know it's none of my business. Um, I like a drink now and again. Uh, are they talking about the character? Maybe the character does. I don't drink at all. I'm kind of a teetotaler. Uh, no particular reason. I'm going to guess you're not a drinker yourself. 
Well, I don't make a habit of it. It's not like I think it a failing, mind. It's just I... I live right across the road. Most nights I watch folks out my window. When they come in here, they might be happy or sad. Mostly they're tired. When they leave, they're mad at themselves. Or they stumble into the alley and I listen to their hearts breaking. Hmm, that's pretty sad. Uh, are you safe living there? There's been scary nights. But Constable Reyes is right up the road. She keeps an orderly town. That's good. All right. Um, let's go in and see if we can find out. No, she said the control panel was to the right. Performing and here they come. Whoa. Everyone all right? You got him. Yeah, you and I both got him. That guy's head's missing. Where's his head at? Because I don't see it. Did it get up and walk away? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Access file one. I had to borrow your copy of Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Hey, we're looking for that. Radio's been sputtering and I needed the reference. I've returned the copy to the repair bay. Okay, so it's here. That's the other copy of that uh, thing that that kid needed to become an engineer. Chaos everywhere. Mechanicals gone haywire. Gunfire. Hearing some screams. Oh, law. I think that was someone's leg. Would like to leave early for the day. Please deduct the liquidity fee from my pay. Thank you. Proud to be a member of Spacer's Choice Family. <laughs> Holy smokes. That's terrible. It's kind of funny, but it's terrible. What was I supposed to do in there anyway? Look out! Shotgun is a I shotgunned his ass. All right, where in the hell did he come from? Okay, I was gonna go up these stairs. Give me a second. Cover me, will you? Hey, there's a room up here. All right, let's look around before we mess with this computer. Now there's doors everywhere. All right, let's check this out. Manager's office, unlock office door. Let's do that. Return to root messages. From Spacer's Choice, this letter serves as an informal notification of our company's displeasure toward your management of the Emerald Vale geothermal plant for reasons related to exceeding your staff budget in your latest quarterly report. Please select five, five subordinates to be dismissed immediately. Additionally, please contact our office to schedule your official reprimand at your earliest convenience. Failure to schedule your official reprimand will result in an official reprimand. The Spacer's Choice family would like to collectively remind you that working for Spacer's Choice is not a right, but a privilege. Isn't that nice? Okay. To the esteemed members of the Emerald Vale Development and Overnight Com Oversight Committee, I hope this letter finds you wealthy. After due consideration of your last letter, I've identified and terminated no fewer than five subordinates who were unable to provide sufficient justification for their ongoing employment. 
I would like to remind the Oversight Committee that while most of Emerald Vale has failed to meet this production and output quotas, particularly our agriculture and fishing canning departments, neither of which are anywhere close to, the pro to be profitable, the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant remains committed to providing cheap, cost-efficient power to the entire region. Dear Ms. Uh, Ms. Ms. Brandon, we've investigated the claims made against the profitability of Greater Emerald Vale region. Our office agree with you. Agriculture and fishing canning have experienced a steady decline, while the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains somewhat profitable. Our offices are currently investigating ways to implement additional cost-saving measures, which will ultimately lead to a leaner, more streamlined, more efficient geothermal power plant. Please be informed that the Spacer's Choice Development and Oversight Committee has taken a significant insurance policy against the Emerald Vale plant. The office would like to assure you that the, the insurance policy is a standard procedure. Do not attempt to interpret, understand, or otherwise extrapolate meaning from this decision. As a special courtesy, we've deployed a proprietary team of engineering specialists to the geothermal plant. This team of specialists has been instructed to refit and upgrade the plant's population of auto uh, mechanicals, auto mechanicals free of charge. Thank you for your cooperation. So they're probably firing everybody. It's going to be run by um, robots. Which door did I actually unlock? It's just a bathroom. Easy. All right. This door was this the door that was unlocked by the by the computer? Well, maybe not. I don't know. Um. All right. Let's go through here, I guess. Wow. This looks like some electrical plant. What's that? You gotta look behind every nook and cranny, I guess. Dead guy. Let's take his shunt. He's not gonna need it. Come on, Parvati. Don't stand around. Aha! What do we got up here? Um, okay, well, this is the terminal, but do we want to search the whole place first? Redirect power, plant status. Let's look at the plant status. Uh, plant status, this access report brought to you by Spacer's Choice. Operating at 22%. That's terrible. Power is currently being distributed to Edgewater, Salt Tuna Cannery, and the Botanical Laboratory. Warning. Structure, structural damage detected. Please notify your designed or your designated supervisor. Warning. Damage detected. Please notify your designated supervisor. All right. I'm not ready to redirect it yet. I haven't made up my mind what to do. I want to look around the whole place first. This can't be the end all. There's got to be more to the plant than this. Where have we not been? We haven't been down there. What the hell? Let's see what's here. Oh, that's just an outdoor. Uh, pick up Dervish Mist. Sounds like a Mr. Misty. There's somebody back here. Let me see if I can get back there. Oh crap, how am I going to get back out? Oh, there's... Luckily, there's... There's uh, boxes here. We're a jumping fool, tell you what. Okay, let's take a short break here, Parvati. 
before we go downstairs, because I'm sure we're probably going to get in a fight down there. Yeah, stretch them if you got them, girl. <laughs> <laughs>